Dear ladies and gentlemen from the Neotheist community, my name is Valdemar Ferch. I'm a professor at the Pforzheim University. I'm teaching international business. Part of the international business is B2B, marketing and branding, and one particular part is B2B2C. This situation we call ingredient branding. Ingredient branding is a complex phenomena. Not too many people know what is actually behind that. If I mention the uh, most famous case, you will know it. Intel Insight. Intel promoted its chip through the end user in the product of their computer manufacturer. So the Dells, the Lenovo, the HPs of the world have Intel Insight. Intel sticker is on the machine and Intel promotes to the end user. The end user get pushed and pulls the product through because he knows that product is good, is better than the competition. This kind of principle we'll find in many other industries and in many other products. I started researching on this area in Germany around about 2004 and we developed a book which is called The Brand in the Brand. This book uh, was followed up by many case studies, which I worked out uh, with my former colleague, Phil Kotler from Kellogg Graduate School of Management. This book is now available all around the world and um, it's developed uh, and developed itself to the standard work to the, in this area. Well, the question is, are component suppliers ready and are they, can, are they in the position that they can actually ingredient brand. Do they have the cloud? Do they have the money? Do they have the system in place which make this kind of activities possible? Well, let me give you another example. You want to buy a, a rain code, a, a code which is rain resistant, water resistant. Uh, you probably look at products like uh, Gorotex. Gorotex has a system which um, uh, is water resistant and uh, gives you a product, gives you a final product which is uh, suitable for difficult rainy wet situations. So if you want this kind of product you need to know this is available, you need to know in what um, product you can find that. So therefore the products which Gorotex have are labeled with a Gorotex logo and the uh, uh, the production company, the producing company like Eddie Bauer, for example, is promoting this product and Gorotex, in addition, gives uh, uh, information that this um, feature is actually a very interesting one for you. So the customer can decide and he can probably pay more for this kind of <clears throat> uh, well-fitted uh, product. So the question is, if you have other components which are important, <clears throat> are you ready for ingredient branding? Can you afford? Does it make sense for you? I think this is a good topic for this community. Thank you very much.